Hello everyone, this is Aaron Ralby from Linguisticator, and in this video I'd like to share with you our progress so far on the development of McCunks VR. McCunks VR is a software for building memory palaces in virtual reality. So let's have a look at some of its features. First of all, you'll be able to create and manipulate spaces of any size and shape. In addition to creating walls, you'll also be able to add spatial elements like blocks and columns from the built-in menu. Next, you'll be able to add and manipulate mnemonics from a built-in library. You can pull up the menu, select an object, and then move and resize the object. You can either let it fall to the ground or suspend it in space. As this is a demo version you're seeing, we've only got a small built-in library here with pre-selected images. In the full version, there will be a much larger library with a more advanced menu system. There will also be the option to search the library, as well as options for searching and adding 3D models from external libraries. We are integrating the software with 3D Warehouse by SketchUp, an open library of more than 4 million models. So if you can't find a mnemonic for something in the built-in library, chances are you'll be able to find something in an external library. And if you still can't find what you're looking for, you'll be able to add 2D images as your mnemonics from Google Image or from your own computer. So if you wanted to use your own cat as a mnemonic for something, you could do that. This space is set up as a prototype guided module for the AR conjugation of verb in Spanish. Let's have a look at how the space is set up so you can see how quickly you can learn a complex subject using a guided module memory palace in McCunks VR. First of all, there's a giant aardvark over here to serve as a mnemonic to remember this space is for AR verbs. The space is then broken up into four different zones for the four different verbal moods in Spanish. We have a boy pointing or indicating for the indicative, a bottle of conditioner for the conditional, a police officer for the imperative, and a bunch of gold bars for the subjunctive. This is because the subjunctive is often demonstrated with the example, if I were rich. Within each quadrant, we have a number of pedestals. These are for the actual tenses and forms. If we go into the indicative, you can see we have blank pedestals and pedestals with bears on them. In Spanish, as in English, you can form compound tenses using the verb to have. So you can say things like, I have eaten, or I had eaten, and so on. The pedestals with the bears are for these compound tenses, because in Spanish, the verb to have is haber. So if you're learning the AR conjugation here, all you need to know is that these tenses use haber. There is nothing specific to the AR conjugation that you actually need to learn here. The blank pedestals are for the simple tenses. You can see that we have four pairs of pedestals. Each pair is for one of the four tenses. So we have the present, the imperfect, the preterite, and the future. The pair of pedestals all the way to the left is for the present. The pedestal in the back is for the singular, and the one in the front is for the plural. So now, all we have to do is add in images for the endings for each distinction of person. So we have an ostrich for the O ending in the first person, an ass for the AS ending in the second person, and an aardvark for the A ending in third person. By putting them in this kind of triangle, we have a location for the first person at the top, second person bottom right, and third person bottom left. As a final step, we could create some kind of story to link these together. So what does the ostrich do to the ass, and what does the ass do to the aardvark? Now, if we were to conjugate a verb like hablar, we'd have hablo, I speak, hablas, you speak, and habla, he or she speaks. In the full version of this module, there will be built-in guides to tell you what mnemonics to place where. It's also really important to stress that these are just sample or demo mnemonics. You as a user would create your own images for everything. You wouldn't have to use the ostrich or the aardvark or even the bears. You could use whatever images you wanted to remind you of the relevant information. So, the space would be set up and you'd be guided through the space and instructed to create your own mnemonics at each location. When you look at the remaining space, you can see that it wouldn't take very long to complete this entire conjugation. In fact, if you're familiar with the controls, we expect users would be able to complete the module in as little as one to two hours. Considering the retention rates of this kind of learning are so high, this is really, really exciting. It means you could master the verbal system of a new language in a handful of sessions in VR. So that's a sneak peek of what you'll be able to do in McCunks VR. 
This is obviously something of a rough draft, but hopefully it gives you a sense of the functionality you'll have at your disposal in both the free build and guided build modes. Thank you.